This is after being closed down overnight. It's because of this huge sinkhole. See, not working through the night to get the road drivable once again. Seven News reporter Tyler Lopez live there now to show us how things have progressed. And this is one of those unintended consequences, Mitch, from the spring runoff season that experts have been trying to concern themselves with and get a little worried about as we head towards that big season. They've got a lot of equipment here on US 40, and you can see the reason why. They had to double the size of the culvert here because it was so rusty. It collapsed due to spring runoff around 1230. You can see that's about double the size of the old pipe. They had to dig 10 feet deep to put that in. Here's where the sinkhole was, though, on US 40 itself. It was eight feet wide, so it took until about 315 this morning to fix it. Where we are right now is we're parallel to I-70, just to the south, within a quarter of a mile at the most, till the Arancho restaurant exit. So you can see the road is open, but it is obvious, too, that CDOT's going to have to, at some point, come back and do some repaving work to make this more of a permanent fix. But they certainly worked quickly. Won't be an issue for your morning drive. But it's exactly the kind of thing that weather experts have been saying. They don't know if they can predict all the things that are going to happen once we get to spring runoff season. We know we have spring gauges, uh, stream gauges that are still damaged from September. Then we've got a high snowpack that's going to start to melt soon. But we also saw some flurries today.